Hello and welcome, my name is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to make gold foil boxes with Cricut, Laminator and Free Template. For this project, we will need a color inject printer, a laser printer, laminator, reactive foil, cardstock or photo paper, and a hot glue gun. I will link all of these supplies in the video description below. I will go ahead and start with the tutorial, but before I would like to invite you to please support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and by pressing the notification bell. And this is the template that I will be using for this tutorial. If you would like to use this template, I invite you to download it from my blog. Find the link in the video description below. Before adding the design, I will adjust the measurements to be able to print and cut. The biggest we can print and cut with Cricut is 6.75 by 9.25 inches on a letter size paper. Select the template, including the scoring lines, and go to the size bar above and adjust the measurements. This one can be 6.75 by 9.25 inches. Select the template only and hide it. Click on the eye and you're going to end up only with the scoring line. Select them, go to operations and instead of cut, you're going to click on score. Then click on group. Now click on the eye to show the template Click on the template only and duplicate it. Now to this template, you can change color, go to operation, find the color you wish. And if you don't find it, go to advance and you can mix your own color. Now, if you wish to add a background with the sign, go to operation. Instead of cut, you're going to click print then cut. Now here, instead of color, you're going to select pattern. Look for the pattern of your choice. And if you don't find one that you like, you can also add your own pattern. If you would like to learn how to add your own pattern to the Cricut Gallery, I invite you to look for my tutorial on my channel. Find the link on the right top corner or in the video description below. I'm going to select this design to show you. And there is the template with the beautiful background. Now, if you wish to edit, click on edit pattern. And here you can make the design bigger or smaller. Once you finish editing, just close the window and ready. That was easy. Now I'm going to show you another way to add designs to the template. I'm going to show you how to add small designs and after this I'm going to show you how to add text. This is the template and I have these flowers over here that I want to add to this template. I'm going to place a few of them and to make sure they are aligned I'm going to copy the scoring lines and place them on top. Once we have the scoring lines, now we can align the designs. Once they are aligned, select the scoring lines and hide them. And now we're going to select the template with the designs and we're going to click on flatten. Now it is ready to be printed and cut. The ones that have the color are the ones that are going to be printed with the inject printer. Now I'm going to go ahead and add text to the template that is going to be printed with the laser printer. First, I'm going to change the color to white. 
Now click on the T on the left and start typing. And this is how we will look printed. Now I'm going to change the colors of the letters to black. Now this is the design or the lettering that is going to go in front of the box. You can leave it like that or you can add more text. I'm going to add more text to the back of the box. But for this one, we're going to rotate the text. Select the text, go to rotate and rotate it to 180 degrees. And it's ready. Now select the scoring lines and hide them. Click on the eye on the right to hide the scoring lines. Now select the template with the text and click on flatten. Now it's ready to be printed and cut. Now click on the eye to show the scoring lines, but this time we're going to place them on top of the template that has the design. To align it, insert a square, resize it and place it under the template. Now you will be able to align the scoring lines. When you finish, erase the rectangle. Select the template with the scoring lines and click on attach. And they are ready. Let's go to make it. And this is how it's going to print. Here we're going to print the template that has the color designed first using the inject printer. Select it, continue, send to printer, Select the printer, click on Add Bleed, and also click on Use System Dialog. Click on Print, and here, select the printer again, click on Preferences, select Photo Printer. On Media Type, select Glossy or Matte Photo Paper. On Quality, select High. Make sure it's on letter size or the size that you are printing. Click OK, then print. To print the color template, I am using my Canon Pixma Mega Tank printer. Now we're going to print the text with the laser printer. This will be the part where I will be applying the foil. Send to printer, select the laser printer, Leave the bleed if you wish, then click on Use System Dialog and click on Print. Select the printer, click on Preferences. Make sure you are printing on the best quality. On paper quality, either select cardstock or photo paper. I'm going to select cardstock. Click OK, then Print. Before we continue with this printing, we're going to cover those corners. Like this, we don't get duplicated framing. For the laser printing, I am using my Dell laser printer. You may use any brand of laser printer. The laser printing is ready. Now remove the pieces of papers that we used to cover the corners and we're going to go ahead and cut the template. 
Now to cut the template, we're going to select the printing that has the colored printing, the inject printing. Now we're going to select the material that we're going to cut. In this case, I am cutting photo paper, so I'm going to select photo paper. And I'm going to put a little more pressure, so I'm going to click on more. So we're cutting a box with scoring lines. The first tool that we're going to use is the scoring wheel or the scoring stylus. I'm going to use the scoring wheel. I'm going to place that one on the clamp B. And here is the template already cut. Now I'm going to add the gold foil. We can use a big piece or we can use small pieces just to cover the text. For this process, we need reactive foil. I'm going to link all of the supplies used in this tutorial in the video description below. Now place a page of printing paper below and another one on top. Now it's time to use the laminator. You can use any laminator. I got this one from Amazon. I'm going to link it in the video description below. It's ready. Let's see how it turned out. It's beautiful, look. And it was so easy. Now we're going to assemble the box. This is just an example. You can make other type of boxes using this technique. I have several free box templates that you may download from my blog. Find the link in the video description below. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.